Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with my monthly fairy loot unboxing. Well, that is upside down. There we go, fairy loot unboxing. <laughs> fairy loot is a monthly bookish subscription service that is YA fantasy based, and every month they sent out a box full of wonderful fantasy themed items, and I love all of them so much. I'm also a fairy loot rep, which means they sent me this box for review, so thank you so, so much to fairy loot for sending this box over. That also means that I have a coupon code for you all if you would like to order a fairy loot subscription for yourself. You can get 5% off a three to six month subscription using my code Hannah if you enter that at checkout. All that information will be linked in the description box if you're interested in checking it out. I gain nothing from it, it is just a coupon code for you all if you're interested in checking out Fairy Loot. But without any further ado, I'm super super excited to get into this box because this month's theme is dreams and wishes and that just sounds so fantastic. Okay, so I've opened it up and right on the top is the card that tells you everything that is inside this month's box and it has this beautiful artwork on the front. The very first thing I'm seeing in here is this fairy loot box that has like the logo and it says fairy loot. So let's open it up and see what's inside. It's a mug! Oh my gosh! Okay, hold on. Let me take it out of the plastic. It's this gorgeous mug that says to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered, which is a quote from A Court of Mist and Fury, I believe, which I have not read, but I really, really love the artwork on here and you can never have too many mugs in my opinion. <laughs> the next thing that's in here is this candle from Marikai Candles and let's open it. Oh my gosh! God, hold on. It's so pretty. Okay, I zoomed in and I hope you can see it on camera, but it has like glitter in it. But this is the prettiest candle I have ever seen. Also, it just like smells like fairies. Like this is how I imagine fairies to smell. What is it actually supposed to be? Mint, marshmallow, and candy floss. I totally see that. It just smells like straight up fairy. <laughs> the next thing that's in here is this little pin that says dreams. It's a little jar full of clouds with a ribbon around it that says dreams and it's a little bit sparkly and it's so cute, I love it. The next thing that's in here is this magnet that says follow your dreams, they know the way and it has a dream catcher on it. Then there is also this little card for the hunted by Megan Spooner. I love this next thing. It's a little journal that says emerald and it has like a little emerald in it and the pages are like gold. It's just like lined paper but this is such a pretty little notebook and you all know how much I love notebooks so I'm so happy to have this. The next thing in here is this card that has this artwork on it for Spindle Fire um, and the back of it has like a quote with all these roses and I haven't read this book and I don't have it but it looks really really pretty and this makes me want to read it. <laughs> oh my gosh okay I love this next thing. It is a tote bag that has a quote on it that says madness is a matter of perspective. It's from um, Samantha Shannon's The Mime Order, but this is such a nice tote bag. I love when subscription boxes include tote bags. They're just so useful. The artist for this tote bag is Miss Fee, so I will leave them linked down below so you can check out their other stuff because this is gorgeous. And finally, of course, the very last thing in this month's box is the book in this very nice fairy loot bag that they always include. And the book for this month's box is Given to the Sea by Mindy McGinnis. I've seen this book going around a lot and I know a lot of people really like like Mindy McGinnis's other books, so I'm really excited to try this one out, but I don't really know what it's about. There's also the handwritten letter from the author in here where she talks about the book, and she mentions that this is her first fantasy, and how she wanted to write a book with a clear good and bad character, but they're competing cultures for the same goal. Everyone needs land because of rising sea levels. So that sounds really, really interesting. So it's a fantasy that has kind of like a contemporary contextual purpose to it. So I'm super, super excited to read this one and see if I enjoy it. And of course, then there are the last few things in here, which there is a bookmark that has the artwork from the Dreams and Wishes theme on it, and it's really, really pretty. And then there's the signed book plate, but I actually have two. I don't think you're supposed to get two, but there were two in mine. So I have two signed book plates now. Maybe I will get another one of her books and put the other one in the second book, but um, that's really, really exciting. <laughs> all right, so that is everything that is in the Dreams and Wishes Fairy Loot box this month. I hope you all enjoyed watching this unboxing. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite item that was in this month's box. Personally, I have to say it's probably that candle because that candle just smells like pure goodness. <laughs> also, don't forget if you would like to get a Fairy Loot subscription for yourself or a friend, my code is linked in the description box if you'd like to check that out. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!